The Gifted Season 1, Episode 4, Thoughts. This episode is called Exit Strategy. Another episode I love. Spoilers for every live-action X-Men movie and TV show leading up to and including this episode. Uh, let's see. Yes. The, the show is rated TV-14, and so will this video be. Let's dive right in. So, yeah. We open with another flashback. The show likes flashbacks. Two years earlier... And, yeah, a mission goes badly. Gus is shot and presumed dead. I think the fact that this has... Like, this exact... Literally, this exact thing has happened... In multiple adaptations of the comics. Like... Fairly different stories, but, yeah, that kind of goes to show how much it happens in the comics, which, yeah, you know, there's that saying, nobody stays dead in comics except Uncle Ben, you know, so, yeah. But it's, yeah, it's a really solid scene, very, very tense, and, let's see, right, um, the, the, I like um, Polaris saying, you know, is this my birthday? You know, because the situation with, with Reed, yeah. And the, the yeah, um, I can't help but wonder if the, you know, she, she says multiple times to Jace, call me Polaris and gets frustrated when he doesn't I have to wonder if that's a reference to dead naming which you know Jace is a representative of law enforcement you know when law enforcement dead names a trans person that's you know yeah that's some of the that's that's something that a number of trans people have expressed you know is is yeah you know, provokes anxiety. So, yeah. You know, another element implemented quite well. And, yeah, Clarice and others say, I'm in, apparently, cosplaying and as 90s hackers in Hollywood productions. And, yeah, you know, Harry explains, you know, I can make myself, I, yeah, I can be invisible to the, the, um, the people, but not the cameras, because, you know, his stealth ability is just like the one in the first Deus Ex game. You can choose either robots or humans, but you cannot be invisible to both. And, yeah, um, Dreamer... I think I might have accidentally called Sage in a previous video, sorry about that. And John discuss, you know, whether or not to tell Clarice, because, yeah, you know, it is that thing of she might leave, like, she might feel humiliated that that was done, you know, and I appreciate that they actually bring up that it's a consent issue, you know. It's one thing that you did this, but you also did it without asking her. You didn't, because it is a violation, you know. And the, let's see, and, and yeah, you know, on the one hand, it's like, if you tell her, she might leave, and then you're, you know, she's, she could be a major asset to not only this mission, but just, like, the, the entire mission, you know, Mutant Underground, but if you don't tell her, that's, again, that's a, an issue of consent, it's a, it's a violation to do something like that. If you find yourself in a situation where you've already done it, you got to tell the person. It's the only ethical thing to do. So, yeah, very nicely done. Very effective, you know, moral dilemma. <laughs> and, and yeah, so Marcos goes to talk to the, the cartel. And the guy is, like, you know, really, really... He's convinced, you know, the Marcos is is going to attack. So he's like, okay, that's that's close enough. 
and and then he's like close your you know make fists with your hands and and put them behind your head you know so like Marcos's hands are registered as weapons I guess <laughs> which you know makes sense considering his superpowers did not think that I would ever see that you know ridiculous phrase actually play out in a piece of fiction much less play this straight and yeah uh, Carmen makes an appearance and yeah the the you know not only does he have to try to work with the 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 cartel but the woman that he yeah he's specifically having to grovel th from the woman that he left to to be with Lorna so that she'll help break out Lorna which yeah that's that's a tight spot and yeah the 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 mutants discuss you know how do you stop the bus and yeah you know Lauren thinks you know we might be able to do something here and yeah good scene as she and Andy practice on the the lamp post and 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 you know I've, I've mentioned you know in other episodes there's more sibling rivalry I really appreciate that here we see no they actually they work really well together you know which that is something that is true of a number of, of siblings in real life. You know, sometimes they really, really help each other when there's, like, emotional needs that, that need to be met. And let's see. Yeah, uh, Reed tries to apologize to Lorna. And, and she, you know, she's like, so you're that guy from the I'll be the baddies bit and yeah you know he's yeah he's trying to apologize and she's like you want forgiveness get religion and yeah uh, Carmen has Marcos torture this this guy I will say I did not think he would actually cross that line. I thought that it was going to be like when he approaches the guy and he's like, you know, lighting up the the palm and th and such, you know, he says this can make you blind. I thought he was going to like lean in close and whisper, "Close your eyes" and then use it to blind Carmen and the guards, but no, he actually And and yeah, I mean he I he hadn't gotten the information at the time, so I'm I'm pretty sure. It's, uh, failing that is also possible. There's too many guards. And let's see. Uh, yeah, and and yeah, Carmen dictates. You know, I call, you come. Which some guys would pay a lot for that kind of arrangement. And. Yeah, uh, Clarice is trying to understand how the memory, you know, she, she's talking to John, it's like, when we met, do we go outside? And and he's like, N no, no, we didn't. And she's like, yeah, because that doesn't really make sense, what does it? Because you know, she keeps seeing it. By this point, she's thought back to it like two or three times. So, yeah. Let's see. And, yeah, I, I appreciate, you know, Lauren talking about, you know, their lives have changed so much. You know, it's it's Sunday. I was supposed to make corn muffins, you know. And, yeah. Um, as with every heist worth its salt, it goes wrong. You know, very clever to think. I... I because cause in all these years, Marcos has never encountered, or was it John? John has never encountered anyone other than Pulse, Gus, who could do this, who could shut down mutant abilities. 
and and he thought he saw Gus die, so he just didn't even take into account that this was an option. You know, it's it's one of those things where like, well, if they can do that, why didn't they do it, you know, sooner? And and I'm thinking it's because how important you know Lorna is to them. I I don't think they've gotten anyone with inside information on the mutant underground before this point. You know, so this is when they bring out Gus so that they have the element of surprise. It's also possible that whatever they did to him to make him work for them, maybe it took a while before they perfected it so that he would be useful on a mission, because if they lose control of him, they're really screwed. And, but, but yeah, you know, so, and he tries to, to stop the bus, it's not working, you know, and <laughs> Lauren, I mean, I guess it's not bullying so much as, like, pushing him, but, but yeah, she pushes Andy, and, and they manage to, to stop the bus in the wrong spot, but, you know, it's giving, it gives the others something to work with. And, let's see... Yeah, and and yeah, Reed is is uh, trying to appeal to to Lorna, and we see later that it did indeed work, you know. And he's like, "All I ask is that the director ease up on the Dutch angles." And let's see, yeah, some some really great action in this episode. A lot of really surprising turns in, in action scenes and when Lorna notes you know there's there's nothing metal in here everything is plastic you know so yeah this is a world where Magneto was part of it evidently because that certainly sounds like the kind of thing you think think up to, to deal with him but yeah you know and Reed yeah absolutely you know, makes a gesture to help show that, no, he is serious about this. He is willing to, to give a lot to help. He, you know, he says, you know, unscrew my leg, which, ironically, screws his leg. And that is very, and, and again, it's this thing of, yeah, that's all she needed. You know, she cuts the, the, ah, strips, I guess they're, I think they're called, and, you know, attacks the, the, the guard. And it's one of those things where, like, you know, ugh, that's a really unpleasant way to go. Or I guess it's possible that she didn't kill him, although with how fast it went and the fact that she only had a screw to work with, I'm thinking she she did kill. But, but yeah, you know. And it's one of those things where you really gotta work to get the audience on board with that sort of thing. But then he did just beat a prisoner and then say, you got any other bright ideas? So, you know, yeah, we're, we're, we don't like this guy. Let's see. And, and yeah, you know, technically when he started using force, they were also doing so, but they're just trying to escape. You know, it's not like he's dealing with some kind of serial killer or something. This is. These are two people who just want to try to escape. And... Let's see... Yeah, quite good. Uh, you know, very, very tense when John and Pulse fight. And... Yeah, you know, very, very sweet when, when you know, the, the hug, the reunion, Marcos and, and Lorna... And, yeah, the, the episode ends with Jay saying, I want them all. You know, not just these that have just escaped and helped in the escape. I want every mutant, you know. Which is a, a very cool place to, to stop. You know, yeah, this is, he's, he's going to go even more intense. And it's, it's, honestly, I thought that the episode would end on the cliffhanger of them not having won the mission yet but no they they managed to free everyone and get away 
with actually very few, you know, Harry was taken out. But I think that was pretty, that, that was the only person that the, you know, the, the mutant side lost. It's, you know, yeah, that is pretty, it's, it's, yeah, it's it's a success. It's not a Pyrrhic victory or anything. And yeah, um, let's see. The uh, according to MDB trivia guest star Michelle Ventimiglia, who plays Carmen, also appeared with Jamie Chung and Nat Natalie Allen Lynn. That's Clarice and Lauren, respectively. On the Fox TV series Gotham. And. Yeah. Um, next episode. I will cover tomorrow. Right. Uh, one real quick thing. I've been trying to work out exactly. Like. In episode one. We see that they don't quite manage to, to stop. You know, SS don't manage to stop um, Lauren and uh, Andy at their their home, and you know we've seen since then. Oh, but they have these like spider things that you know. So it's one of these. You know, you you wonder. Well, why didn't they bring more people? Why didn't they surround the house? And send in the spiders, and then the clowns. I think the idea is. Usually they only deal with one mutant at a time, except for when it is like, you know, the mutant underground. And they knew that this wasn't mutant underground. You know, they knew that there was a mutant. They didn't realize there were two. I think normally mutants in this universe are not able to hide. The fact that Lauren was able to hide is why they were surprised, you know. And think about it. If the SS came to the door and, you know, yeah, um, Andy, you know, had his powers, but Lauren didn't, you know, right off the top of my head, the thing that they would not have been able to, you know, because the, the, there was that car blocking the way. That was Lauren pushing that out of the way. Andy might not have been able to do that, and they would not have been able to get away. You know, I figured that's how that that's why that played out the way it did. You know, it's yeah. And let's see. Yeah. Um I will close out on Lorna making this very reasonable request. Little favor, call me Polaris. You're sending me to hell. I think it's the least you can do.